In this video, we are going to learn how to solve integration by partial fraction using shortcut tricks in seconds. Now, this video will be very useful to you if you are writing board exams like JEE, NDA, A level maths, or GCSE exam. Even if you are a college student or high school student writing calculus exams, it probably multiple choice questions. This shortcut trick for integration by partial fraction will be very useful to you as well. Okay, so having known that, let's begin with this example. Let's say we are giving this integral function, we have 7x minus 3 over, okay, x plus 1, x plus 2, dx. And we ask to integrate this function, okay? Now, this is the trick, the shortcut trick for it. Let's begin by equating x plus 1 to 0, then make x the solid formula is going to give us x will be minus 1 when this 1 cross over or cross this other over the equality sign it will change to minus 1. Okay, now let's substitute this minus 1 in this expression we have here, but don't substitute the minus 1 here. So when you do, you're going to have 7 minus 1 minus 3 over minus 1 plus 2, which is empty as minus 7 minus 3 over minus 1 plus 2 give us 1. So this will give us minus 10 over 1, which is empty as minus 10. Okay, now let's equate x plus 2 to 0 and make a solid formula to be x equals minus 2. When this 2 crosses over the quality sign, now let's substitute this minus 2 in this expression, but we won't substitute it here. So it's going to be 7 minus 2 minus 3 over minus 2 plus 1. You give us minus 14 minus 3 over minus 2 plus 1 give us minus 1. So we're going to have minus 17 over minus 1. So minus will cancel each other so we're going to have it to be 17 okay now that we have these two values to now write the answer is going to be look at how you're going to write it you can write it this way minus 10 ln when we didn't substitute minus y here okay x plus 1 all right then plus 17 ln when we didn't substitute minus 2 here, okay, x plus 2, the constant plus c, or another way you can write it, you can write it to be, if you invert it, if you start from here, 17 ln x plus 2, okay, minus 10 ln x plus 1 plus c. So either way we work. Now let's get the calculator and verify this answer. Let me bring the Casio calculator now. Okay, this is the Casio calculator. The first thing you have to do is to clear, to clear, press shift button now to put it in default mode, for the instruction, press the press report and press report again. So the next thing you have to do is to put it in radius mode. Very important guys, when solving integration, put your calculator in radius mode. To do that, press shift, but this shift mode, then radius is four. Is now in radius mode. If you check here, then the next thing you have to do is to store a number, which I recommend to you. I've worked with it for a long time. I have not found any error with it. So to start to press to shift this x to so indicate that we have been as x. Let's go ahead and evaluate or simplify the problem. How do you have seven x? So we have alpha x. Okay, minus three. Okay, so we have brackets x plus 1, all right, we have x alpha x plus 2, close the brackets, that's the first report to, so we have 11 over 12 or 0 0.91, so let's differentiate this result, this answer we have, and check if we're going to have 0 0.91, okay, so to differentiate it, we shift this integral, button sign to come out, so we have 17, okay, lane, alpha x 
plus 2. Close the brackets. Then we have minus 10. Okay. Then we have alpha x plus 1. We balance the bracket very, very important guys to ensure that the bracket is balanced so we need to close the bracket here how many bracket we have at the left we have two okay we also have two here so it's balanced let's press two the two is stored you come here and put it then press equal to zero point nine one correct so that means this result or answer we have here is correct so this is the idea guys now let's show one more example before we call it a class Let's write this. Okay, what if we are giving this integral function? We have three x minus two over okay x square plus five x plus six dx. So how do you solve this integration by partial fraction? Look, applying the same shortcut trick is going to be you factorize what you have at the denominator is going to give you 3x minus 2 over x okay plus 3x plus 2 all right so when you factorize this is what you're going to have now note again that this shortcut trick only applies or can work when you have the factors to be a linear factor all right so the factors here are linear factors Okay, we now equate x plus 3 to 0. If we make a solid formula, s will be minus 3. So you substitute minus 3 in this expression, but don't substitute it here. So it's going to be 3 minus 3, okay, minus 2 over. So we have minus 3 plus 2. So this is going to give us minus 9 minus 2 over minus 3 plus to give us minus 1 so this will give us minus 11 over minus or minus and cancel each other so we have 11 here also you equate x plus 2 to 0 when you do it x will be minus 2 you substitute this minus 2 in this expression but don't substitute it here so it's going to give us 3 in brackets minus 2 all right minus 2 over we have minus 2 plus 3 so this will give us minus 6 minus 2 over minus 2 plus will give us 1 so the same thing as minus 8 over 1 is something as minus 8 so now to write the answer is going to be let's begin with 11 so it's going to be 11 plane within substitute minus 3 here so it will be x plus 3 okay minus 8 ln we didn't substitute minus 2 here so it's going to be x plus 2 then plus c because this is indefinite integration and this will be the answer so guys this is basically how you can use shortcut tricks to solve integration by partial fraction in seconds let's call it a class here i hope there's something interesting now this is my question for you which of the methods we'll be using often are you going to be using these shortcut tricks often or are you going to be making use of the pattern of calculator leave your response in the comment section below and i will join you in the discussion that is for this slide guys thanks for watching if you are new to the channel ensure to hit the subscribe button now to subscribe to the channel for more videos so like share and comment on this video let me how you feel from what i learned from this class if you seem to have any specific question ask me feel your question the comment section below and i'll be sure to give you a response remember that this trick shortcut trick will be very useful to you if you're writing board exams like jee nda a level math gcse exam or taking exam on calculus involving multiple choice questions that's for this slide guys thanks for watching